Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy and today I'm showing you the super easy crock pot black bean soup. February 4th was National Homemade Soup Day so I'm a little bit late but this recipe is still super good. I took one cup of dry black beans and soaked them overnight for probably about 12 hours. To the crock pot we're going to add some of the strongest diced yellow onions I've ever come in contact with. A red bell pepper diced a can of tomatoes and chilies I just happen to like the Rotel brand but I don't think that's everywhere also we're gonna add some veggie stock to it along with some garlic powder cayenne pepper 21 seasoning salute by Trader Joe's which is salt free and absolutely delicious on everything you put it on as well as some ground cumin paprika and some chili powder and you just dump all of that into the crock pot. No salt, you guys. I'm not adding any salt yet. My mom always taught me to add salt after the beans are done. I'm not sure if that's just what her mama taught her and that's what she taught me and that's not a, like an old wives tale because she said that the beans will get too hard if you put salt into in them before they're done. So I never add salt. Uh, before my beans are done so I didn't add any yet to this recipe I just put everything in the crock pot together and gave it a good stir then I added all of those seasonings and spices that I just showed you I did use an entire carton of veggie stock but I wish I hadn't I wish I had just used like two-thirds of it because it came out a little bit too soupy for me I do like my soup soupy but this one came out just a little bit too soupy so if you want a thicker soup, just definitely pull back. It, especially if you soak your beans, pull back on the um, veggie stock. So I put that on high for an hour. Then I turned it on low before I left for work. And I left it cooking all day while I was at work for probably about 8 hours. Maybe 10. Um, then it was, like I said, it was a little bit too soupy for me so what you saw me pouring in there was actually i had blended some of the soup in the blender to thicken it and that's what i always used to thicken my soup with so then i added some avocado cilantro and lime and it was so delicious you guys thank you so much for watching my video today i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one bye beautiful